The Hells Angels have long been considered the top dog in the motorcycle club world. They've been around since the 1940s and have expanded their operations to various parts of the world. Despite their dominance, the Hells Angels have their fair share of enemies, and they shouldn't be underestimated. Let me tell you why in this video. The Rock Machine. Founded in Canada, the Rock Machine Motorcycle Club was a relatively new player in the world of biker gangs when they first appeared in the early 1990s. Compared to Hell's Angels, who had been operating in Canada since the 1970s. But they quickly made a name for themselves by challenging the Hell's Angels' dominance in Quebec. The Rock Machine was heavily involved in the drug trade, particularly in Quebec, where they were known to be major players in the cocaine and methamphetamine markets. It was the fight for power and control of the drug trade in Quebec that started the war between the two motorcycle clubs, which was also known as the Quebec Biker War. It all started in the early 1990s when the Rock Machine began to challenge the Hells Angels' dominance in Quebec. The Hells Angels responded with violence, and what ensued was a bloody battle that lasted for years. One of the most famous incidents was the 1994 shooting at the Sherbrooke Airport. The Rock Machine had just landed and was met by a group of Hells Angels who opened fire, killing five members of the Rock Machine and injuring several others. The scene was described as a war zone, with shell casings littering the tarmac and bodies lying in pools of blood. The violence continued to escalate, with both sides resorting to bombings and drive-by shootings. Even innocent bystanders were caught in the crossfire. In the most notorious incident, a drug dealer named Mark Dubay was killed by a bomb planted in his Jeep. An 11-year-old boy playing across the street was also killed by debris from the explosion. It was one of the bloodiest biker conflicts in Canadian history. Even the New York Mafia in its heyday never produced such carnage or so terrorized civilians. The Outlaws. It's the 1960s. The Outlaws Motorcycle Club emerged as a fierce competitor. Based in Chicago and founded in 1935, they're one of the oldest and biggest rivals of the Hells Angels. The Outlaws are known for their violent behavior and criminal activities, including drug trafficking and extortion. The two clubs fought for control of the Midwest drug trade. One of the most infamous battles took place in 1984 at a motorcycle rally in Michigan. The Hells Angels had set up camp near the Outlaws, and tensions were very high. In the early morning hours, a group of Outlaws members armed themselves with guns and knives and launched a surprise attack on the Hells Angels. The resulting brawl left several bikers dead and many more injured. The violence came to a head in 1994 when a group of Outlaws attacked the Hells Angels clubhouse in Indiana resulting in a bloody shootout, which resulted in the deaths of several bikers. This incident marked the beginning of a long-standing feud between the two gangs, which continues to this day. The Banditos. The Banditos Motorcycle Club, based in Texas, were founded in 1966 by a group of disaffected Vietnam War veterans who were looking for a sense of purpose and belonging. The Banditos quickly gained a reputation for violence and criminal activity, and they often clashed with other biker gangs, most notably the Hells Angels. The two clubs fought for control of the drug trade in Texas and other parts of the South, but it was in the 1990s that the rivalry between these two clubs really exploded. It all started with a power struggle in the Banditos that led to a split in the club. A group of members who felt they weren't getting enough say in the club's affairs broke away and formed a new group called the Banditos Nomads. The Hells Angels saw an opportunity to exploit the division in the Banditos and began recruiting members of the Nomads. This led to a series of violent clashes between the two groups, including a bloody brawl at a gas station in Denmark in 1996 that left several people dead and many more injured. But the war between the Hells Angels and the Banditos was far from over. In 2006, a full-blown war broke out between the two clubs in Australia. It all started when a group of Banditos members showed up uninvited to a Hells Angels clubhouse in Sydney. A violent confrontation ensued, with several Hells Angels members being beaten and stabbed.
The Hells Angels responded with a wave of attacks on Bandito's clubhouses across Australia. In one particularly brazen attack, Hells Angels members used a car bomb to blow up a Bandito's clubhouse in Adelaide. The war continued for several months, with each side trying to gain the upper hand. Despite the arrests and the crackdown on both clubs, the war between the Hells Angels and the Banditos continues to this day. The Mongols. The Mongols Motorcycle Club was founded in the late 1960s in California by a group of Latino bikers who wanted to form their own club. Over the years, the Mongols grew in size and power. They established chapters all over the United States, as well as in Canada, Mexico, and Europe, and are known for their criminal activities, including drug trafficking and racketeering. The rivalry between the Hells Angels and the Mongols started to escalate in 2002, when a group of Mongols members showed up uninvited to a Hells Angels poker tournament in Laughlin, Nevada. A violent brawl broke out between the two groups, leaving several people injured and one Hells Angels member dead. This incident marked the beginning of a brutal war between the two clubs that would last for years. The Hells Angels responded to the attack by launching a series of retaliatory strikes against the Mongols. In one particularly gruesome incident in 2002, Hells Angels members ambushed a group of Mongols in a Nevada casino parking lot and beat them with baseball bats and tire irons. Several Mongols members were hospitalized with serious injuries. But the Mongols were not to be undone, and they quickly struck back. In 2008, a group of Mongols members stormed a Hells Angels clubhouse in Santa Cruz, California, armed with guns and explosives. A bloody firefight broke out between the two groups, leaving several people injured and one Hells Angels member dead. The war between the Hells Angels and the Mongols reached its climax in 2008, when a large-scale operation was launched by the FBI against the Mongols, resulting in the arrest of dozens of over 60 Mongols members, including many high-ranking leaders. The operation was a major blow to the Mongols, and it significantly weakened their power and influence in the outlaw biker world. The Vagos. The Vagos Motorcycle Club was founded in 1965 in California and has since expanded their operations to various parts of the world. The Vagos are known for their criminal activities, such as drug trafficking and extortion. The war between the Hells Angels and Vagos began in the 1990s, when the Vagos established a chapter in California that encroached on Hells Angels territory. This led to a series of violent confrontations between the two gangs, with each side accusing the other of starting the violence. One of the most notorious examples of this feud was the 2002 Laughlin River Run Riot. The event, which was a biker rally in Nevada, turned violent when a group of Hells Angels members attacked a group of Vagos members. The brawl spilled out into the streets and several people were injured. The incident was just one of many violent clashes between the two groups. Another example of the war between the Hells Angels and Vagos occurred in 2011, when a Hells Angels member named Jeffrey Pettigrew was shot and killed at a Nevada casino. The shooting was allegedly carried out by a Vagos member, and it was seen as a major escalation of the feud between the two gangs. What do you think of the Hells Angels? Are they still the top dog of the motorcycle club world? Let us know in the comments and subscribe to The Crooks to see more videos like this. See ya.